Hello everyone, welcome to Facebook Live. I am Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner. And I'm so excited. Look at the look at this treat we're making today. I'll show you what's inside in just a minute. Um I did do a little preview on my Facebook page yesterday, but um it's so fun and it's pretty big it's a pretty big box. You can see how big it is. Six inches wide and um about three tall. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. But I'm gonna show you what's in here in just a minute. We'll get to this in just a minute, but First, let's go over everything that's going on. Paper pumpkin for November. If you want to subscribe to this, you have until November 10th to subscribe. It's going to be nine treat boxes, um, three different designs, I think. It is, it's going to be so cute. Now, if you want this paper pumpkin, the only way to guarantee that you're going to get it <clears throat> is to subscribe by November 10th. October's Paper Pumpkin, I mean, Paper Pumpkin does put up refills. October's Paper Pumpkin refills sold out in less than a day. So don't try to um, say, well, I'll get it in the refill. I'll get it in the refill because popular kits like Christmas kits um, and other popular seasonal kits, they tend to go really fast once those refills are announced. So don't wait on those refills. If you want the kit, if you know you want the kit, make sure you subscribe. That is the only way to guarantee that you're going to get it. So Subscribe by November 10th if you want this month's, or not this month, but November's Paper Pumpkin. Um, I think it's going to be so cute. I cannot wait. Okay, guys, today we are going to going to talk about Eden's Garden. And we're going to go over these products a little bit, but I just wanted to let you guys know we're going to use most of these products today, and I'm going to show you them all in person. Well, over video. Um, but they are um, only available right now to demonstrators. So if you love these products today, the only way to get them is to purchase that starter kit. You can put these items in your starter kit and then you get a discount on all of your future purchases and you get to join my team and you get all the demonstrator perks. It's a fantastic deal. The starter kit is $99. You get to choose 125 in product. These products can be part of what you choose. Um, otherwise, the products will be available on November 2nd, which is next Tuesday. So you don't have to wait too long if you love them, but we're going to go into these a little bit more detail in just a second. Before we do, I just wanted to remind you guys, I have November's Card Crate up on my blog. You can pre or RSVP for this sign up to get this month's Card Crate this month or November. We are featuring the Tidings and Trimmings Bundle. This is in the annual catalog. Card Crate is a class to go. It comes straight to your mailbox. It is $35. You get $20 in product included. You can add on the bundle if you need it. This month's Card Crate, we will be making um, eight cards. You're going to make two each of these, so it's like a little stamp of stacks. You're going to get supplies for eight cards, two of each of these. Um, $20 in product. You're going to get um, some gold foil sheets. You're going to get DSP. You're going to get some gems. So it's a great, great deal. If you want... Um, November's Card Crate, make sure you head to the link in my video description and you can get all the details on November's Card Crate. The last day to RSVP for that I think is November 12th. I think, um, double check that, that post. All right, let's talk about those, that Eden's Garden products. Let me get everything out here. So the DSP, this is the Ever Eden DSP. Move this out of the way real quick. The DSP is beautiful. It has, um, Evening Evergreen. Soft succulent and then lots of gold accents. So on the fronts of all of these, there is gold on all of the DSPs. You can see how beautiful and stunning they are. So again, these will be available on November 2nd. Look at that one. Wow. November 2nd. Or you can um, join my team and purchase them now. And then the reverse sides don't have any gold foiling. They're just all really great designs with that um, soft succulent and evening evergreen. This one is my favorite. Let me see if I can pull that out. Look at that. Beautiful, like ombre brush strokes. Love this one. All right, so in addition to the DSP, there is what they are calling cotton paper. And I'm just going to pull out one of these sheets. I've played with it a little bit. This is, um, it comes in soft succulent and evening evergreen, and it is kind of like the equivalent of Thick tissue paper is what I would say. There's um, like a shiny side and then there's a, a more matte side, but it is um, kind of a thickness and, um, you know, it's just thick tissue paper, I think. It is really fun and they, I'm, I've seen some really cute things done with it, so it's definitely fun paper to get. Um, we are not using it today. We're using everything else today, but not that. But it is fun, fun paper. All right, the Eden's Garden Bundle. So you're going to get these beautiful dies. You can see these 
beautiful like leaf dies. We're using this little one today. Border dies, some little greeting dies. The stamp set is beautiful as well. So this is the stamp set in there. And then finally, the garden gems. These are them. They are so, so pretty. You have some like teardrop ones and then some round ones and they are just gorgeous. So that is everything in the Eden's Garden Collection. Now I do want to emphasize one thing. The bundle will carry over into the next mini catalog, into the January through June mini catalog. Everything else, the papers, the gems, those are only available while supplies last. So if you love any of those things, make sure you purchase those earlier in the promotion than later. Don't wait because they might sell out. All right, this is November's, or not November's, this is October's host code. If you um, need to place an order this month, make sure you use this host code. All orders will receive a PDF with three exclusive projects. If your order is over $50 or more, you also receive a make and take kit to coordinate with those projects. All right, guys, this is what we're making today. I'm going to pull out my Simply Scored. We're going to do some scoring to begin with. So this is a beautiful box. Now, I kind of designed the, the ribbon a little differently here. I've never done a ribbon like this, but the ribbon can either wrap around the back or if you want to make it more of like a little pouch or a purse, you can put the ribbon on top and then make it like a little, like a little pouch. The ribbon is actually um, tied into the box so that it will always stay with the box. You do have to untie it to open the box, but the ribbon will always be attached to the box. You're not going to lose the ribbon. So inside, I just have a box of M&Ms because, you know, who doesn't love M&Ms? So um, I got these at my dollar, my local dollar store. They sell these everywhere, though. You can get these everywhere. And this box is a really good size, so you can fit a lot of stuff in there. You can fit probably a gift card, some cash, um, some jewelry, uh, maybe like a really thin scarf might fit in there. So lots of good ideas. I'd love to hear what you guys want to put in there. So, and then this just tucks under your, your little label there, and then you would tie it back up. Um, so we're not going to tie it right now, but this is what we're making. So let's start with the box. We're going to use a piece of Evening Evergreen, which is eight by seven and three quarters. And we're going to start on the seven and three quarter inch side. And you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch on each side. So one, and then we're going to flip it all the way around and do another three quarters of an inch. Now on this side, on the long side, on the eight inch side, you're going to score it at two, two and three fourths, five and a half, and six and a quarter. Now you do want to take note that this side is two inches from that score line to the edge. This side is one and three quarters inches from the score line to the edge. This is going to be our flap, so we need to make sure we know which side is the shorter side. So keep note of that because it will matter when we trim our cardstock. So the shorter side's over here. So we'll start with that side. We're going to fold and burnish all those score lines. Okay. Just keep note of that shorter side. It probably won't make too big of a difference if you mix them up, and you can always measure to make sure you know which side is which. Let's and finally this side. So this is our shorter side, I believe. See, now I've mixed it up. Yeah, this is our shorter side, the one and three quarter side. So we're going to start by trimming this side. So we are actually going to trim off these rectangles that are on this first flap for the first score line. We're just going to cut that off. So we're going to do the same on this side. Cut off that rectangle. And, all right, so that's what we're left with so far. Now we're going to trim down these flaps right here on the score line. I'm just going to trim those down. These are going to be the little flaps that go inside our box. And so we're just going to kind of notch those in just a little bit. Pull those away. Fold that up so I can see these better. Notch these in a little bit. There we go. So that is what we have so far. So we have our little flaps. We've cut off those corners. And now for these little squares down here, you have little three quarter of an inch squares down here. I'm just going to cut up those score lines and notch those in. These are going to be glue tabs. So they'll just be hidden inside the box. All right. 
this side, do the same thing. And we are ready. So that is the trimming of your box. So you have little glue tabs here. You have your tabs that are gonna fold in the box here. This is your flap, okay? All right, so one more thing we're gonna do is round these corners on our flap. Just to, it gives a little bit of extra fanciness, extra cuteness. So just use your detailed trio punch to do that. And that is, that's our box. So we're going to stick down our DSP before we assemble. So I have three pieces of DSP and all of these measurements are in the video description. So this is going to be the, our back piece. This is six by two and a half for the back piece. This piece is going to go on our flap. This says six by one and a half, and we will round those corners. And then this is going to go on our front, and this is six by um, one and three quarters. Okay, so let's round these. We're going to round two of the bottom corners. Let's grab that punch again. And there we go, and that will make sure that everything lines up just like that. Okay, so let's adhere these down. I'm going to grab my adhesive. I'm just using stamp and seal for this. You can use any kind of adhesive you want, whatever you're most comfortable with. So this one goes on our flap. This is that new DSP, that Eden's Garden, or Ever Eden DSP. Well, supplies last, so make sure you get this if you love it. These colors I love. These are some of my favorite in colors. So I'll be using this a lot. Okay, so that is that is pretty much our box. We're going to assemble it now. So I'm going to switch to my Stampin' Seal Plus, and we're going to put some adhesive on these little tabs, little square tabs. And then I'm actually going to flip it down. I'm going to make sure those don't get glued to my work surface. And I'm going to put some adhesive on this outside edge down here. Okay, and we're just going to line up this side, the side that doesn't have the adhesive, with that score line right there. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just like that, and then this will just wrap around and adhere to the side, just like that. It's not going to go all the way to the top. You're going to see there's a little bit of a gap there, but that's what we, what we want. These little flaps will fold in, and that is our box. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. All right, now let's get the ribbon on. So I'm just going to use a regular hole punches. You can get this in your regular office supply store, and we're just going to punch a hole in the sides here. So just a little hole, I don't know if you can see that, just a little hole in the side. We're going to do that on each side. And again, how you want to do the ribbon is up to you. So I'm using the Evening Evergreen Chevron ribbon. And so I'm going to start on, on one of the, the sides. You're going to kind of come in from the outside to the inside. You're going to pull that ribbon. Make sure you leave enough that you're going to be able to tie a bow. You're going to wrap it around, make sure you don't twist it. And I'm just going to kind of, this one you're going to have to cut in advance. Well, I guess you could thread it through the other way, but I'm just going to kind of measure how much I'm going to need. I usually have to cut it off the spool anyway. And you're going to do the same thing. This one's going to come around this side. And it's going to go right into that hole. Let me see, there we go. Make sure that the ribbon is nice and flat. And depending on where you're going to tie your bow, your ribbon might be longer or shorter on one side. So this is where you're going to decide what you want to do with your ribbon. If you want it wrapped around the back, that's fine. Or you can just kind of slide it to the top, make a little kind of pouch thing. To tie it, I'm going to leave it wrapped around the back just because that's going to give me a little bit more stability. Let's put our candy in. This time I'm using Reese's Pieces. That's going to go right in my box. Slide that right in. The Reese's Pieces is slightly bigger than the M&M box, but it still fits. It's okay. It still works. Same measurements. Okay. So now we're just going to tie a bow on this side. It's going to be a messy bow, but that's okay. All right. I'm just going to trim that edge. All right. So there we go. That is basically our box. Isn't that cute? So let's let's work on our stamping and our tag. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. So for our stamping, I'll put my scissors away. For our stamping, I just have a scrap piece of white, and we're going to stamp that beautiful 
flower image in rich raspberry. So I'm going to make sure this is inked up really well. This um, Eden's Garden stamp set is one of our um, distinctive stamp sets. So that means that you're going to get all of those lighter and darker shades just with one stamp. So I'm going to just stamp this onto my scrap and I'm just going to hold it there for just a second. Just make sure all that ink transfers and lift it up and you're going to end up with that beautiful just light and dark shades. One stamp, one ink. Isn't that gorgeous? No two-step stamping, no lining things up. One stamp. Now, there are no dies that actually cut this image, so you're going to have to fussy cut it. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time so you didn't have to watch that. And I have a scalloped rectangle die cut from the um, scallop contours dies. We're going to tear this down. I'm going to get some dimensionals. And just a couple dimensionals on this. There we go. And we're going to stick this onto our, our die here, our scallop contours dies. Now, I have die cut three of that leaf from the dies, from those Eden's dies, or yeah, Eden's dies. So this little one down here, I've die cut that out of gold foil. If you love gold foil, that is one of the things that's being included in my card crate this month or November. All right, so we're just gonna stick these around, one up here, and I'm just putting a little bit of glue just on these bottom two leaves down here. Everything else will just kind of pop up and that's okay. It gives lots of fun dimension. All right, now before we put the last one on, because I want that one to kind of go over our greeting a little bit, um, we're gonna stick our greeting on. The greeting is from the Eden's Garden stamp set. I have stamped it in birthmark and then I gold heat embossed it and I die cut it using, let me find those dies. These are the pretty pillow box dies. These are in the mini catalog. I die cut it using this label from the pretty pillow box dies. I love that label. So we already have that ready to go. I'm going to stick a dimensional on the, the back under the hello. Then on this side, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. It's going to sit on top of our flower piece. So that's going to go right onto our label. And finally, we're going to add our last little flower down here. And that's going to kind of just tuck under there. Some of these are going to tuck right on top of that. That label just like that. Okay. Super cute. All right. So let's bring back in our box. And we're going to stick this on with dimensionals. Make sure you don't put dimensionals on top of the, the ribbon. It's just a couple under the ribbon. Because you want your um, recipient to be able to open and untie it. All right, and that's just going to get centered right onto our box, just like that. Super cute, right? Adorable, beautiful, really elegant. All right, finally, we're going to finish it with our garden gems. And I'm going to use these round ones. I'm going to use a couple of the bigger ones. Come on. So one there, and then we're going to go in with some of the smaller ones. Use your take your pick tool. You can them up drop them wherever you want and one more down here so there you have it isn't that beautiful it's beautiful metallic lots of shine on this one it's a really good size box you can put anything in it of course I've designed it for the for the M&Ms and remember you can really customize how you want to do that ribbon you can use it as a little pouch it looks like a little purse in this manner if you do it like that or you can keep the ribbon wrapped around the back so your choice on that i'd love to see what you guys do with this box let me know what you would put in it um if you're watching this on facebook i'd love it if you shared it with your friends if you're on youtube please like and subscribe to my channel i will be in my vip group on sunday for week five i think we're on week five of our christmas countdown so thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you guys on sunday bye